Hello guys, this is Master Liu VR. Welcome, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how actually you can upgrade your software. We just rolled out today. Uh, of course, some of the test units already rolled out of the they're getting the 5.2, but this is actually even much more latest, which is 5.2.1. All right. Uh, for those who just brought your Pico 4, actually, you have no idea how actually you can upgrade your software or you don't know where is the feature of this setting is. So today in this video, I will guide you along and yeah, also we will go through the description of this update very fast. So straight to the point, now simply go to the quick setting at this, alright, this whole uh, little bar thing key. It's the menu bar, I then click on this and then go to this right top right side of the setting. As you can see this uh, Ostingon icon. And once you and then you need to go to the general, which there's red indicate at the general there. And then you will see systems version. A new version is available. So this is the bar you need to create. If you haven't seen this update, definitely you need to wait because this update, as according to the Twitter, they say that the Pico OS 5.2.1, everything will be rolled up by 18th of November. So yeah. Let's dive in with the note, alright? Please do note that the, this size is 1.1 GB. It's definitely very huge, but it will fix, um, sorry, it will fix majority of the problem and also implement some of the future, alright? So let's go through the normal one will be lock screen function to protect data privacy. That's good, alright? Let's say you are playing uh, games and then suddenly you need to take a break, but then your knees of wherever, <laughs> yeah, take the headset and then they can't access. Because due to this, it will protect you from, yeah, accidentally they go purchase some of the game size uh, scroll here <laughs> just purchase the most expensive then you need to go through the refund process that will be a quite painful all right that will be a quite painful now number two will be beginners guts application this app help you to understand the basic operations in the pico os for improved efficiency of use okay that's something um yeah quite Use, useful for new players out there just bought Pico 4 so need, they need to understand some of the functionality this is the one all right number three the overall experience of the play area has been upgraded hmm does it mean that now your boundary can set even much more bigger I think so that would be nice to see because might be the when you're out of the bounds all right by a little bit might be some issue maybe they won't send properly um, number four, improve the battery life and optimize the power management strategy when using while well, charging. Hmm. Okay, this is very interesting. Now we know that this Pico Four right actually have a battery problem. It says that this five point three hundred uh, mR built behind the heat strap. All right, and there's two battery. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I find <laughs> yeah the battery has really sometimes lasts less than what you know uh two hours. <laughs> That's a problem, right? Well, with this update, thanks to this update, actually, I think we will softly even optimize even better. Well, we shall see and test out in a few days later on. All right. And number five, optimize the color performance of the color see through. All right. Amazing. This is what I want to see. Color, like I said before, let me show you when you see something. All right. This is my environment. Just to show the color actually is well, record in the video is to show very perfectly, but when using the password in, and you look at the lenses all right the color really like wash out i won't say it's like that bad but still not that awesome right and then number six is optimize the network performance wow interesting and number seven is the fix the problem of the screen drift when using the this kind mode actually i have no idea what's the recording mode okay what is it actually you can find it in somewhere yeah let me see. Is it with display or lab? Oh yeah, this is the one. Uh, mo movement tracking will be turned off once the recline mode is on. You can unpress the uh, O button to recover in any direction. This one I actually still no idea what is this. But I'm going to try out in the next video. I have no idea what's that. And next will be the number 8. Fix the issue that the speaker will have a seizing sound when the battery is low. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't have this problem. Not sure. Maybe it happens out now, but this actually, yeah, could be irritating sometimes. Well, okay, let's go. At least they fix it now. Number nine will be fix the problem of low frame rate when sliding the app store. Okay, let's give it a try. So we are still in the five point one update. 
Definitely, it might be have some brain break issues. You guys are hot. Might be noticeable. It doesn't feel like 90 hertz to me. Should have felt like somewhere 60 to 72. Well, that will do the job from that case. All right. Okay, last one. Completely is the most important thing overall, other than battery. <laughs> Improve the system performance and stability. And as you know that this is one of the things that I want to see so much. Even we are enthusiasts who have their own Pico 4. Trust me, because the performance, performance issue-wise actually occur, especially when you play the, right, the, the, the standalone game. For me, actually, I don't like the standalone. I find a lot of the resolution is very poor as they don't optimize very well. I'm not sure actually this system performance actually will fix and stability the problem of the standalone game. But for me, actually, I find the PC VR most of the time is very flawlessly working well. I'm not sure you all will test it out, but I find that the standalone game majority are not as great as all right, the Quest 2, all right? The performance is very, it's the most issue out there, having kind of low resolution, I'll be seeing. I test out some gear out there of the standalone, not work that awesome, but hopefully this update will, all right, will do. So lastly, all you need to do is click on the online update and then everything will be good to go and then your headset will be shut down. Um, all right, here is the brand new update of uh, Pico 5.2.1. Here are the user guide of the brand new things as you can see how uh, some of the things they will show how actually you can watch the 8K panel video uh, that will be a system for Pico screening cast to other and definitely in future there will be a, a mixed reality casting right which will add on I'm not sure when the update will roll out I'm very excited to the update right, as well now this one more major things that I found out that now you simply with this brand new update, when you double click, alright, to see the color pass through, the color definitely even much more better. Um, they fix the majority of the wobbly effect. So now when your hand is moving like this near there, geez, everything looks seems pretty normal right now, alright. As I have that some distortion like they will hear the screen here will move for a bit. I think you all can't be seeing that much, but actually phone is still a bit, yeah still having uh, uh, like five percent is of the but i can see the number even much more clearer than before wow amazing really love this update so much thanks pico 4 definitely would like to see much more update coming during future what else they need to do is of course roll out more application um we need more application just like big screen which is one of the top priority and also we need a uh, uh, apps like the yeah what was what, what the call again? Uh, VR chat, alright. Majority of the social app, because the stores, I still find it pretty empty. Most majority of the game also not cheap, right? Uh, in my car, you see, definitely. It's not say I poor or what, but just the machine that battery wise still doing a big fast. As just now, have a record, right? Uh, was around 71%, and now we dropped to just by using it. Uh, hopefully, major, more, major update for this battery. Optimize will be made better so our battery will last even longer than this because yeah why not so please do check out this update because it will change a lot of things even the feature of the app like the tweets disney plus uh, apple tv everything has other web browser right now with the app web apps as you can see even the youtube uh first one of the pr prime video which i like to watch a lot still not working because you have the dim free I, I believe that's what you call it because you're unable to access when you try to watch everything full screen will be bread from what i heard that december there was one update were coming in ring which you're able to watch in future so yeah meanwhile everything's look fantastic i love this update so much thanks people for more rolling up and more coming in. trust me because i have oh, oh wow join another one percent <laughs> that's pretty fast all right guys and yes they need major update for the the headset battery if not that will be very bad you see draw again <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay here are the next thing i'm not sure this feature really ever before but well i didn't know actually you all realized that you can teleport in the home environment uh i just got actually cost to already have this feature <laughs> 
But simply you need to hit your controller with the purple circle, right? This is the by holding it is reposition, we know that. But when hit one time, all right, without holding it, and then you can simply teleport to wherever you want. Look at this, fantastic. Unfortunately, like I say, this one is no uh, free locomotion where you can walk around. But still, there's something new for me. I'm not sure you all actually do before. Or actually, is it? If not, then wow. There's something new. And also, next thing is that when you hit right the menu button and go to the environment, I believe there's brand new two environment or three. I'm not sure this one is a new one or not. Because but previously, I don't think I never see this. So, yeah, of course, I already checked the... This one, the application just now, the hearse, all right, actually much more smooth, but still can see some like low frame. Still have that issue. I'm not sure actually they fully update already. You know? Now, go to the environment, all right, which is this thing, and then you can hit the lab. Sorry, it's the general, and then you see the virtual environment. That's brand new uh, Zero Island. Okay. And then in the edge surrounding, you can see the water is moving. Wow, pretty nice. Zero island in the night time. Unfortunately, this one you cannot change the planet. Just, just like the, the cyber room and the space capsule. So, this is not that bad. If you want to have a much more peaceful... Uh, uh, sorry. If you want to have much more peaceful, alright. Here is the environment for you. Uh, sorry, the surrounding is no sound. Yeah, yeah it's very quiet. So, <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, I don't think there's more. Maybe there's some more shadow surprise. If you found one, please let me know. I unfortunately can't test the game frame uh, update for you because now currently it's 2 a.m. I need to work tomorrow, so I need to get sleep soon. Um, yeah, I definitely will text out in the next video. So please, please give a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. What a good surprise update from Pico. I really love it. All right, cheers, goodbye.